Gaming has been absolutely decimated. Gaming coins are down 70, 80, 90%. You probably lost faith in gaming altogether and you may have sold out of some positions. However, I'm here to tell you that now is the time to be buying gaming. Now is the time to be accumulating. When no one else wants to buy, when it's down in the dirt, when it's consolidating, when it's boring, is the times you should be buying. Unless you'd rather FOMO in once it's pumped 2, 3, 4, X. I don't want that from you. Today we're going to be talking about one of the best gaming projects in the crypto space. But before we do that, I'm going to give you guys two points to convince you as to why I believe now is the best time to buy. Reason number one. This is the token return to gaming over the last year. We had a move to the upside from November all the way to the top we saw form in March of this year. Then we had a significant move to the downside. Now, since that move to the downside, what have we been doing? We have been consolidating. We were in a downwards trend that we broke out of. And now we're just consolidating. Now, what tends to happen after long consolidation periods? We tend to break out and have a move to the upside. Now, I don't know what the catalyst is going to be, but there's going to be a catalyst. Whether it's market conditions or whether it's a specific piece of news. But it doesn't take a genius to tell by this chart that now is a great time to be accumulating your favorite gaming projects. Now, the second example I want to give you is if a catalyst happens out of nowhere. For example, OTK. OTK is a gaming project built on Solana that I hold in my portfolio and many of my patrons do as well. Now, we've been accumulating this project as it's been going down. And guess what happened? The Solana ETF came out and then it pumped to the moon. It did around a three to four X in a very small amount of time. There's people on the sidelines sitting around thinking, I'm gonna be able to time the bottom. I'm smart for not buying because it's dumping. And then this happens out of nowhere. You should have been accumulating when it was consolidating, when it had some strength, but you didn't. And you may think, oh, I didn't miss out on much. You really did. Because let's say OTK, from this point on, does a 10x. Those who are buying the bottom, those who are buying now when no one else wants to buy, will make around 300 to $400,000 from 10k. And those who buy now, after it's pumped, are only going to make 100k. They think, oh, okay, 100k, 400k, what's the big difference? That's a 300,000 dollar difference. What could you buy at $300,000? And it was only due to complacency. It was due to the fact you didn't want to buy. It was due to the fact that you got fudded out of gaming in general. All I'm going to say is DCA is the way. Now is the time to be buying when no one else wants to. The gaming project we're talking about today is Corpo World. The ticket is Corpo. Q-O-R-P-O. The current price of Corpo is 0.184 18 cents. The current market cap of this project is 12.41 million with an FDV of around 138 million. Now, I can already hear people whinging about the FDV talking about tokenomics. So let's get straight onto the tokenomics section of Corpo to not waste anybody's time. Now, if we take a look at the amount of tokens that's gonna be in circulation at the supposed height to the bull market, following the four-year cycle, which is meant to be around Q4 2025, there will be around 250 million tokens in circulation for Corpo. Now, the current amount of tokens in circulation is 67.31 million, which will be around a 3.7x dilution for Corpo. Now, keep in mind, this is dilution over a one to two year period. This isn't happening next week, and it's still a very low number of 3.7x. And if we factor in the dilution today, let's say it did happen tomorrow, the market cap increase of Corpo would go from being 12.4 million to being 45 million, still making this a very small market cap coin that is certainly worth your investment. If we take a look at some other factors on the front page, as you guys can see, Corpo is a very new project releasing February of this year. So it's a very new project in the crypto space. Now, because it's new, 
it had its initial pump to the upside and it's had a slow grind to the downside due to market conditions and also due to pre-sales and private sales selling some of their tokens. Now, if you do want to buy this project, it's very easy to do so. Head over to KuCoin, Bybit, Mexi, or Gate.io, four mainstream centralized exchanges. If you want to go over the place with the most liquidity, I would go for KuCoin. It's one of the most popular centralized exchanges in crypto. If you want to go for a DEX, Uniswap is also available. So let's discuss what exactly is Corpo. Corpo is a GameFi project. It's a gaming hub. It hosts multiple different Web3 games, some developed by Corpo themselves and some developed by other studios. As you guys can see, here are some of the games available. If we take a look at Citizens Conflict, which is the game developed by Corpo themselves, you can tell its quality. This is a triple A game, kind of looks like a Call of Duty Battle Royale type game. It's very high quality, and in fact, you can find it on the Epic Game Store right now. Meaning, the general population who don't even know about crypto are playing Citizens Conflict simply by finding it on the Epic Game Store. Now, when we have the mass rush of retail coming to crypto again, the games that they're familiar with, the games that they know, are going to be the projects which take off. It's going to suck in that retail capital investment into the project. But nevertheless, it's a very high quality game, as you guys can tell by the pictures and the videos shown. I expect this to do pretty well as a Web3 game independently. But as I said, they also have other Web3 games developed by other studios on many different platforms too. Let's move on to a few factors as to why I'm bullish on crypto. Number one is the partnerships. If we take a look at the gaming partnerships that Corpo has, we have over 20 gaming partners and esports teams. Now, I particularly like the part in which they divide the partnerships in gaming. For example, it's not just Web3 gaming cryptos. They also have esports teams. And the reason this is important is because if we get people playing the games, that helps generate hype, interest. People are talking about it. People already know about it. So it's wise to not just get Web3 gaming partners, but to also get people to play your game. Now, Corpo doesn't just have gaming partners. They have other partners in the Web3 space, such as the BNB chain, Gate.io, Chainlink, PokerStarter, Cedify, some of the biggest names of the crypto space, from launchpads to blockchains, etc. You guys know the gist. Now, we also have a plethora of VCs backing Corpo. Now, this is good because it means there's smart money flowing into the project. It means that VCs were willing to take the risk to buy this project due to its quality. They're not just going to throw their money anywhere. They know the best places to throw their money. And also, this means that there's enough funding for Corpo to get good centralized exchange listings. We're already on a major exchange such as KuCoin. And it'll be so much easier now to level up to exchanges such as Binance, Coinbase, because they have that funding. You know, they're not a fair launch broke project. They have the money to operate the project. Number two is the team. No one can deny the team is very important. Sometimes the team simply being docs adds that level of comfortability to invest into the project because we know who's behind it and we know who to hold accountable. Now, as you guys can see, the majority of the Corpo team is docs from advisors to the core team themselves. Now, they have extensive experience in major Web2 institutions that are related. It's not Web2 institutions that are unrelated to the project. We have massive gaming institutions, such as PlayStation, Horizon, and Mafia. So it's related to the gaming space. We know they have targeted experience for their niche. This fills you with confidence. Now, lastly, the reason I'm bullish on Corpo comes down to the tokenomic side, funnily enough. Now, Corpo, from Q3 2024, are giving 100% of its ecosystem revenue back to the token and community. 75% of the revenue will be burnt, and 25% will be returned to our community through awards. Now, this is huge. 
Why is it huge? Well, number one, it's deflationary, which will lead to price appreciation. It will lead to the price going up. Also, there's rewards. Retail love making rewards. They love making free money, whether it's airdrop, staking, etc. If you take a look, Corpo has staking available. You can make between 15 to 30% APY from staking Corpo. If you have some of the NFTs, you can make a multiplier of around 2x. You can make a little bit more than that. But there's staking for Corpo, which is great to see. Now, the last thing I want to say about this, to make you guys fully bullish on this idea like I am, is to understand how much revenue they're actually generating. Because if they're making $5,000, okay, you're burning $5,000, you're giving us five, okay, it's, it's nothing. They generated from Citizens Conflict 558,000 USDT in revenue. Half a million dollars in revenue. Yes. And this is going to be part of their buy back and burn system. This is going to be part of the revenue that they give back to the community. This is huge. Which is one of the major factors as to why I am bullish on Corpo. The final thing I want to mention is in regards to price action. Because I know there's a few of you out there who actually don't care about the project. You simply look at the charts. By looking at the Corpo charts, as you already know, gaming had a massive dump. Corpo, from the top to bottom, had around an 87% dump. There isn't much room for it to go down any further from this point. But also, on a more local frame, we are clearly consolidating in this range. We are trading sideways. We also have buy signals printing on the market side for B, on the oscillator, which is a signification that potentially this is the bottom for Corpo and now is the time to be buying. So even if you just want to look at the charts, it's still a bullish chart. This is a chart that I will potentially be looking to accumulate. So just keep this in mind. That's it for this video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. Make sure you guys check out my private communities the best in the crypto space, join on Patreon, join on WAP, whichever you like. I highly recommend it. Take your crypto journey seriously, guys. Don't waste your time. I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.